Hello oh, and welcome back to TJ's desk. Today I'm going to show you how to install the Ethernet cable into a Keystone Ethernet jack. Let's get started. I'm going to be using the T568B pinout. My jack comes labeled with the B standard and the A standard. I'm only using the T568B pinout because that is my preference and everything I have currently uses it. To make your proper wiring connections, you're also going to need your punch down tool or get very handy with the screwdriver. So the first thing you're going to do is to identify which pinout you wish to use. I'm using the B. The only difference is the A and the B types, all they do is move your orange and green wires around, your blue and your brown stay in the same pattern. So I take my uh, Ethernet cable, I've already gotten rid of the sheathing and cut back the plastic core in the middle. Now I'm just going to follow my pattern which is already labeled on my jack. Orange and then orange and white will be first for me, just because that's how I prefer to do so. Take my orange wire, the orange and white wire. Mine are very kind of faded coat uh, labeled. So this is mostly white with a little bit of brown, so it's kind of hard to see. Even when off camera. I'm going to take my punch down tool. I'm going to punch down my orange all the way to the bottom. And I'm going to punch down my orange and white all the way to the bottom. And you're going to do the same thing with all of your wires. Just follow the pattern that's already on your jack. Confirm, blue, white, blue, brown, white, brown, orange, orange, white, green, and green, white. And then you're going to grab your protective cover. It has little bits in it that keep your wires retained while it's in, while it's in the wall. This is going to, these little edges here is going to make sure the wire doesn't come out of the little metal blades that are in there. I'm going to take them. One side is going to keep the Ethernet cable in place. The other side doesn't have that piece, so make sure you put it on correctly. Click them down. Now, this is another one. If you do have the fancy tool, these tails will already be cut off for you. I just got the one that came with it. Grab some snips. You're just going to snip your ends off. If you have flush cuts, even better. You can get these real nice and tight. You don't have, have to worry about it at all. Mine. That's the best I'm going to get. So there you go. If you guys found this video helpful, feel free to go and hit that like button. If you'd like to see more of my videos, feel free to go over and hit that subscribe button. Thank you all for watching. And I hope to see you again next time.